are many reasons to consider the use of ethanol. Overall, ethanol produces cleaner tailpipe emissions and is relatively harmless if spilled. Since ethanol is a renewable fuel that can be made from domestic crops, additional ethanol production would boost the U.S. economy by creating new jobs. Ethanol is a clean-burning, high-octane fuel that is produced from renewable sources. These sources include corn, sugarcane, wheat, and other agricultural products. In its simplest form, ethanol is produced by fermentation of carbohydrates, such as sugar, starch, and cellulose. Pure ethanol is combined with varying amounts of conventional gasoline to form blends. E10 and E85 are the most common ethanol blends in the U.S. Nearly all conventional gasoline in the U.S. today contains a percentage of ethanol. In fact, any gasoline-fueled vehicle can use mixtures with up to 10% ethanol. Did you know that in 1908, Henry Ford's Model T was the first American flexible fuel vehicle? The Model T had a carburetor adjustment that enabled the vehicle to operate either on gasoline or ethanol. Vehicles that are designed to run on blends of E85 are called flexible fuel vehicles. According to the American Coalition for Ethanol, there are more than 8.5 million flexible fuel vehicles on U.S. roads today. It's important to point out that when E85 isn't available, these vehicles have the option of running on conventional gasoline or any ethanol blend up to E85, which can be anywhere from 51 to 83 percent ethanol with a balance of conventional gasoline. Today, the majority of major automotive companies have developed light-duty and medium-duty flexible fuel vehicles for commercial use. By 2020, General Motors predicts to have more than 20 million ethanol-compatible vehicles on the roadways worldwide. There are also other benefits in expanding the use of ethanol to fuel vehicles. For the betterment of human health and the environment, economy, national energy security, and to help reduce the dependence on foreign oil. According to the National Research Council, carbon monoxide emissions are responsible for as much as 20% of the smog formation in the atmosphere. Carbon monoxide emissions are created when gasoline is not completely burned. However, ethanol is a high-octane fuel that contains about 35% oxygen by weight. This allows ethanol to burn more completely, thus reducing harmful tailpipe emissions. Pure ethanol is a carbon-neutral fuel because the carbon dioxide released when ethanol combusts is balanced by the carbon dioxide captured when the crops are grown to produce the ethanol. This differs from conventional petroleum, which adds a net amount of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Ethanol produced from domestic crops may result in about 20% fewer greenhouse gas emissions when compared to conventional gasoline. In addition, ethanol fuel production creates domestic jobs that help boost the U.S. economy. Ethanol production is creating jobs in rural areas of the country where employment opportunities are needed most. According to the Renewable Fuels Association, ethanol production in 2011 supported more than 400,000 jobs across the country, $42.4 billion to the gross domestic product, and $29.9 billion in household income. As crude oil prices continue to rise, it is imperative that alternative fuel options be explored. Ethanol can be manufactured using the existing industrial production capacity and used with conventional equipment. Taking advantage of American feedstock production, the ethanol industry can provide a solution to dependency on foreign oil by displacing large quantities of imports. The U.S. Energy Information Administration estimates that the U.S. produced over 13 billion gallons of ethanol in 2011 alone. The renewability of a fuel is often referenced by the energy balance or the ratio of how much energy is required to produce and distribute the fuel 
compared to the amount of energy the fuel releases when it is burned. A higher energy balance ratio indicates a lower environmental impact because less fossil energy is needed to produce, refine, and distribute the fuel. For every barrel of ethanol produced, 1.34 barrels of petroleum are displaced at the refinery. Currently, ethanol is made primarily from corn and sugarcane, but it can also be produced from renewable biomass resources. We encourage you to learn more about alternative fuels and petroleum reduction technologies by visiting www.naftc.wvu.edu slash Clean Cities Learning Program.